everybody live and well almost live here hang on a second there we go we're getting someplace okay it's like we're frame rate is a little bit wonky for this morning sorry about that down here in the lower left hand corner of your screen i'm meteorologist austin onik it is friday morning and things are very quiet if not running a little bit behind schedule here on what's going on with our computer system looks like we're lagging behind a bit for some odd reason i apologize for that if you're just joining us again keeping an eye on what's going on with the weather things are decently quiet for right now but could be a bit of a problem into later on today we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit if you've never been here before Thanks for joining us. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you'd like to find out more about what's going on, current conditions right now, temperature outside in the backyard is 81 degrees, lower 90s for high temperatures today, and heading for low temperatures tonight, only in the mid-70s. Could also be some severe weather out there. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Fourth rock from the sun, looking at temperatures much colder, back into around last Tuesday, 3 degrees above for a high temperature, minus 120. 12 degrees. All these are Fahrenheit. 36 degrees on the ground temperature, minus 130 minimum temperature there, and very high UV levels. If you'd like to see more about what's going on available at Mars on the Remote Environmental Monitoring Station from the Curiosity rover, all you have to do is go to this website, mars.nasa.gov, for more information. Rest of the area this morning, again, no earthquakes to report within the News Channel 3 viewing area over the course of the last 24 hours, so things are decently quiet there as well. Clouds mixed with blue skies around the area of Rhodes College in Memphis. The view from our weather underground camera, at, well, their, their camera at Rhodes College as of right now. We just kind of... I'm, likewise, the Ole Miss campus at the Crosby Hall Construction Camp around the area close to the Student Union. Things are moving along for the renovation and hopefully get finished up here, I would guess, somewhere around the time the semester starts to begin in just a little bit. More of our webcams available at WRAG.com. Germantown, plenty of sunshine, clouds off into the distance and looking again at temperatures back into the lower 80s for the most part early on on for Friday morning and humidity already in the 85% range so some very warm conditions out across much of the Mid-South into the rest of the day. Here's what it looks like again throughout the rest of the day for us. Temperatures throughout the rest of the next couple of hours rising very rapidly into around the lower to mid 90s so if you have any plans for outdoors that's something you're going to have to deal with and then as we get into the rest of the forecast for the rest of the afternoon no major change in the weather. Unfortunately, we will see increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms mainly around lunchtime and afterwards, but there will be more potential for rainfall as we get into around the rest of tonight and into tomorrow as well. So please prepare for that potential. Let's go ahead and see what's going on on the forecast page running the numbers for you and so far again showing temperatures back into around the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s by the time we work our way into late this morning and early into this afternoon. This is going to be again very hot, very steamy, very early so if you have any plans for outdoors this is what you're going to have to deal with on here and these temperatures again not doing too good for anybody in the near future. Not seeing any cool weather and it really anytime soon. Now by early this afternoon more chances of showers and thunderstorms start to pop up. We may see more activity again throughout the course of the rest of the day today and into dinner time later on tonight. So if you have any outdoor plans, swimming lessons, church camp, whatever you've got going on in the way of scouting activities, any of that, be prepared for the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms popping up across the area, some of which could be strong to borderline severe, and that will continue right on in through tonight around News Channel 3 at 10, going on through into very early tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 daybreak, so unfortunately we will see more potential for showers and thunderstorms, not only for for Saturday early, minimal potential, but still again possible problems there. And then as we get into around the late day on Saturday, early on Saturday afternoon, that's where we also see the potential for more showers and thunderstorms continuing to develop off and on. And that potential goes right on in through tomorrow night. So not expecting a great weekend for outdoor activities with showers and thunderstorms kind of coming and going out there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the forecast again throughout the rest of the day today. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we've got a bit of a problem. The temperatures are going to be similar but that's not quite the forecast we're looking for apologies on that. We'll be looking again at more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming on through as we go into this next weekend, but we'll talk more about that coming up on News Channel 3 live at 9 and also into around the rest of the forecast throughout the rest of the early portion of this weekend as well. We are still live. Uh, again, for those of you just tuning in, we are trying to uh, get things taken care of here. Unfortunately, the computer is having a little bit of issues at this point. 
so a little difficult to move things along uh, time to give us an idea as to what's going on the tropics at this point nothing going on in the Gulf of Mexico little if anything happening Eugene now down to a post tropical depression not much of anything else left over from that what's left of tropical depression 4 has wandered into the Caribbean and will continue again to plague areas east of Miami and Florida that could be a bit of a problem but otherwise no development expected over the course of the next two to five days so good news on that if you are a couple of days uh, again hopefully getting this taken care of a, a bit of a I apologize for the slow computer it's not usually this slow out there uh, taking a look at weather where the troops are for Baghdad 113 degrees just before sunset 117 degrees in Basra 915 degrees in Najaf 112 not quite as hot in Afghanistan temperatures as of right now back to around 70 degrees with a thunderstorm reported near the Kabul airport 90 in Herat 85 in Faizabad and in Kandahar so very warm in the southern and western portions of Afghanistan. South Korea, south of the temperatures mainly into the 70s, although it's still 80 degrees in and around Seoul with mostly cloudy skies showing up in those locations. Rest of the forecast again as we go to around uh, the area close to uh, Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. We'll be seeing some temperatures very much akin to what we're seeing for here right now. We've got again temperatures very mild uh, for this time of the year starting off very not cool and continuing to see some very warm conditions into the tropics. Very tropical air sitting over the mid-south right now no question about that and as of right now in Guantanamo Bay in Cuba we've got a temperature of 82 degrees very similar to what we have in the mid-south but no rainfall to speak of at this time. Don't forget to get our weather app that's available at whatever app store you got search WREG weather and download our weather app today so you can keep up to date with what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South area. Catch up to date with all the weather information throughout the forecast. I'll have more details on things going on on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network that'll be coming up uh, today or through the rest of the weekend Saturday and Sunday on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 and then also on AM 730 just about for another 15 minutes or so with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live and of course don't forget to visit all of my social media web pages wherever you are we'd love to have you along for the ride so stay tuned for more with me on news channel 3 social media throughout the next few days again so far immediately at about 10 till 9 o'clock we're not seeing a lot going on immediately but over the course of the next few days you definitely want to stay tuned to news channel 3 as we'll keep you updated as to what's going on with the possibility of severe weather in the forecast we continue to see that potential today not a great chance but it still will be a chance and that's why you need to keep it tuned to news channel 3 should be an email address down here at the bottom of the screen austin.onic at wreg.com and love to keep you up to date on what's going on with the weather in the mid-south but so far things are decently quiet hopefully it should stay there but either way keep it tuned to news channel 3 and we'll keep you advised thanks to everybody for joining us on periscope and twitter glad to have you along for the ride and glad for everybody to stick around throughout the rest of the weekend got any questions again let me know and stay tuned for more with news channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of friday and into the rest of the weekend live and direct from downtown Town Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend and with yours truly.